Hello children, how are you? And I'm really happy that you're watching this video. And we have uh, successfully completed the poem uh, No Men or Foreign. Okay, children. And uh, in this particular video class, I would like to share the classwork of a particular poem No Men or Foreign. Okay, children. And before further go, let's get started the classwork of a poem no men or foreign and the first question that we have here is that what does the poet remind us of in the first line of the poem and i repeat the question what does the poet remind us of in the first lines or first line of the poem and the answer would be and the answer is the poet reminds us that no man is a stranger and no country is a foreign foreign country all men are the same wherever we go and all countries are like a own country i really hope that you have understood the main theme of the lesson is that no one is a stranger we all are brothers and no country is a foreign because we should and we have to treat every country alike our own country we have to spread the brotherhood all over the world okay children and the second question that we have here is that what according to the poet are we doing when we hate others and i repeat the question what according to the poet are we doing when we hate others so very interesting question and very important too and the answer is according to the poet we should remember that whenever we are told to hate our brothers it is ourselves that we shall hate disposes betray and condemn okay children that here what we have to understand is that if somebody says if somebody said to us that uh, we have to aid we have to hate somebody that means we are going to hate ourselves so you have to understand everyone is equal and everyone is a brother understand and then the third question here we have what are the two bad effects of war i repeat the question what are the two bad effects of war and here we have to read the line 16 to 19 and we should answer and the answer is if we fight or war against each other it affects the earth and air the two bad effects are the first effect the earth and air will become impure as we know that if we commit or if we did a war the war affects on the earth and air to become impure and hatredness between brothers increases isn't it children so as we all know that if we fight our hatred becomes a very very uh, high so that is the answer and read and write these are the little bit long questions i mean long answers read and discuss your response with your partner and then write and here we have question number 1 how do we think we are all treated alike by nature so see children here we have to understand one thing so might be we have differences in each other on each other but nature treats us equally no one is special or no one is hatred by the nature the nature always treats everyone equal okay and the answer is nature has given and how the nature treats us and how would you say that the nature is treating treating equally as the answer is nature has given the same physical features and mental abilities to all the people living on it isn't it we all have the equal physical features and mental abilities that has given by the nature it has provided all the natural resources 
like sun air and water to the people people work hard to cultivate lands and produce food in all parts of the world in each and every part of the earth people lead a common life there is no discrimination in nature that you have to understand here one thing is that children all whatever the people belongs to whatever the class they belongs to whatever the caste they belongs to whatever the religion they belongs to whatever the country they belongs to whatever the state they belongs to the sun the sun is the same the sun rays and the air is the same and the water is the same everything everything the nature giving us everything is the same there is no partiality in the nature that showing love towards the man isn't it everyone everyone or everyone is equal uh, to the nature okay there is no discrimination at all and the question number 2 uh, from the second mind read the third stanza carefully what message does the poet want to convey to us so please do read the third stanza and i will tell you the answer and here the answer is people living in different parts of the earth do have eyes like us everyone has eyes as like us the eyes that helps us to wake up in the morning and sleep at night isn't it you sleep in the same way i sleep in the same way isn't it so the eyes are to everyone is the same they have the ability to love and bring about oneness among people we can see people living a living a common life whenever we go therefore we should develop a sense of equality and brotherhood among ourselves in the third stanza the poet talking about the ice and the brotherhood he was giving example by using ice isn't it so i sleep in the same way in the uh, at night and even you sleep in the same way at night and we all wake up by opening our eyes we all are no one separated okay and that is the brotherhood and uh, question number 3 that we have here do you agree with the poet that we should wage no war how do we justify that isn't it let's see the answer yes all should agree with the poet because war gives way for hatredness only hatredness only so if we agree to do a war obviously the war gives hatredness the war gives impure in the nature and to the earth there is no end for this so we should not wage war the poet mentions in the following lines to hate our brothers it is ourselves that i shall dispose this betray condemn it is the human earth that we defile our hells of fire and i and dust outrays the innocence of air that an everywhere avon see children if we hate other people if we harm other people that means we are hatreding us we are condemning us we are discriminating us we are spoiling us we have to understand this particular thing and in the same way and in the, at the same time if we do a war we are going to spoil the air and the earth so we shouldn't do any wars that is what our poet messages and the fourth question that we have here is that some are of the opinions or opinion that the poet might have written this poem after witnessing the bad effects of the second world war second world war mention some of the lines in the poem to support that opinion see children some people some critics says that the poet has written this poem after uh, the second world war and uh, uh, the experiences the experience of the second world war we have to support this answer and the lines we have to pick up the opinion of people about the time of the writing this poem might be true yes it might be true the following lines have a references to soldiers war and its evil effects beneath all uniforms a single body breathes this is a reference 
an example, are fed by peaceful harvest by wars long winter started. Remember, we who take arms against each other, our hells of fire and dust outrace the innocence. These are the references, children. In the question number five here we have briefly described how a war spoils everything. I repeat and a very very important interesting question. Briefly describe how a war spoils everything. Answer. People living in different, different parts of the earth have isolated themselves on the basis of color, race, creed, language and country. Though they are all human beings basically. The ways war against one other in the name of race, religion and other factors. Each country wants to establish supremacy over the others. Here we have to understand why the wars are happening. Because of race. Race means you know the color. Which the complexity which one person has like blacks, whites, browns, reds. These are all people different uh, countries they have isn't it white people black people brown people red people isn't it by by you know uh, these kind of uh, basis they are doing wars and this is not at all correct to the earth this is not at all uh, suits to the earth and every country wants to show their supremacy as a result there is a mass destruction with the use of modern Weaponry, lakhs of people are killed, their homes, fertile lands are reduced to ashes. If we recall the uh, devastating effects of the Second World War, we can realize that war brings a lot of uh, misery to the people. Yeah, we have to understand. Doing war is not a small thing or it is not at all good to the earth. Because uh, the latest, the modern weaponry and uh, the modern uh, soldiers will, will affect a lot to the people. A lot of people had died in the Second World War and even if we do war again, that will happen again. So we have to spread brotherhood all over the world. So no matter what color they belong to, no matter what race they belong to, no matter uh, what religion they belongs to, no matter what cause they belongs to, we should accept everyone as our brothers and our sisters. Isn't it, children? And I really, really hope that you have understood the poem No Men Are Foreign, a very, very uh, thematical uh, poem and a very informative and uh, message-oriented uh, poem. And I really loved it, children. I really loved this uh, particular poem and I really hope you also enjoyed it. And here I uh, have given the classwork even. So please do finish the classwork as soon as possible. Uh, thank you so much for watching the entire video. And uh, if you have any doubts, please let me know. I'll try to clarify. Thank you so much children.